All right. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? All right. We are started. We are going to be doing a quick live stream of my edit process. I just got back from uh, Phoenix from AZ Bike Week. I got to hang out at Vance and Hines and their booth. They let me in the truck. I got to have a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I want to make sure first before I start doing that you guys can hear me. If you can, please click that thumbs up and comment below in the chat. Hey, eat, sleep, and lift. Your first. Hey, Dan, and it's Izzy Breeze. Hey, I see you from the uh, um, Discord. Uh, let everybody know in the Discord first that I was going to be doing this. But yeah, I, I got to hang out at Vance and Hines. They're, little, they're a truck. They're not a little truck. It's a huge truck. And they got a bunch of bikes there. I did a live stream of that event. If you want to check that out, uh, it's it's in my most recent videos. And um, so what I'm doing is that this was uh, on the way home uh, yesterday. So I'm at the gas station and, and uh, I had like a lot of wind going up to Phoenix from Tucson. Uh, hey, what's up? You live in Phoenix. Howdy, howdy. Koinonia. I believe I said that right. So I had a lot of wind and I was just doing these techniques that I've been doing for a very long time. And I decided just to talk about it. I made a quick list of little bullet points um, on my phone. So you'll kind of see that sometimes if you look closely and plus you'll see it when I actually make the video. Um, just bullet points. It, it, it lets me figure it out. Plus I had my GPS going. So another thing I didn't do was I didn't have my uh, Cena Bluetooth on this helmet yet. I still haven't done it. I've been kind of, kind of, Slacking on that. Uh, eat, sleep, and lift. Will you make a vid about PTSD? Yes, I will, um, because firefighters and police officers and military and a bunch of it, people have PTSD, and I think that's something that's a good subject to talk about. So I will do that at some point. Um, maybe this no, this Friday I already got this Friday done. So what's up, Kelly? What's up, Road Glider? How you doing? Nice to have you in here. Um, yeah, you guys' are chats are po popping up right here. It's good to have you. But anyways. Uh, so it was just a quick video, and I forgot to put the scene of Bluetooth, so I didn't have Bluetooth. So what I did was actually have, oh, it's over there, I have Bluetooth headphones. I might actually do a review on those because they worked out really well, and I use them for when I work out and my audiobooks and my long walks. But we're going to get into editing. Now, I, this is roughly 9 minutes and 47 seconds of a video. Um, as you can tell, I just barely started, and I'm doing some re like real good quick cuts. These are my patrons right here. Uh, the senior crew we got Robert Anthony V. I don't know if you want me to put my, your last name on there, so I just put V. Uh, Connor Dewey did it. I see you in the chat, and you're right there. How you guys doing? Uh, Christopher Fox Cecil, and then my veteran crew over there. Have you heard about the Cena helmet? Yes, Blockhead actually just did a video right on the Cena helmet. It looks pretty cool. Um, would ever use GoPro on calls and rescues? I wouldn't be able to just because uh, I think the whole um, HIPAA violations and plus uh, where I work, they don't want that. So I probably won't do that. The only time I would ever use it on um, a rescue. Connor, dude. Oh, my gosh. We got uh, Connor here with the uh, super chat. Have a great day. Dude, Connor, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That truly does help out the channel. It's because of you I'm probably going to get, yeah, it actually is because you I'm going to get the uh, challenge coins. I'm getting that ready. I had the designer do stuff, paid him. And you're, it's because, guys, it's because of Connor. I'm able to get a design going and get some challenge coins. They're going to be limited edition challenge coins. I'm working on the design. I'm actually going to work on it after this. It's a lot of it's because of Connor. He's been, he's been a big time supporter since the very beginning. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Um, Monica's here, boys. Hey, Monica. Monica is an admin for, for uh, the Discord. I, you know, I need to get into. To, <laughs> I need to get into the editing. I'm having too much fun just chatting with you guys. I need to make just a straight up Discord chat, and just hang out with you guys. Uh, we could do that too in uh, voice chat channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is how it starts. Consider supporting Dan and the Firemen on Patreon for just one dollar a month. More information in the link below. What is up, everybody? I am leaving Phoenix right now, and oh, and before I start, um, Denzel, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I, I'm not that awesome. I'm not that awesome, but I appreciate those words. It makes me feel good. Um, I figured out the volume. I figured out my audio, guys. The audio sounds amazing now. I'm sorry about the last auto tune session. That was a big miss. That was like a uh, an issue with audio. 
But guys, I fixed it. Just just listen. And this is kind of giving me a good topic to talk about. But let's first start the bike. Okay, I put warp stabilizer on that. I don't want warp stabilizer on that. So about but let's so we got sorry i'm just gonna do this real quick boom so i gotta get this done this is hey raider i'm a big fan you know what? i loved meeting you guys at az bike week it was so fun i met a whole bunch of you guys at az bike week um check out my instagram i'm gonna slowly be posting them out i didn't want to post out 20 photos in one day so i still got some more i'm gonna post but i met a ton of you guys at az bike week and i gave you guys a ton of um, stickers and buttons and stuff. So, but let's get this going. I know this is this is the video that's gonna be coming out today at two p.m. So I really gotta get this going. It's already ten twenty here. A good topic to talk about. But What's up, Nemphius? I love having you in the, the Discord. Bike. All right, let's go ahead and reset the triple dometer because doesn't it sound good? I mean, it just sounds so good. Because I just got fuel. I like to know. Awesome, Denzel. How long it's been since I had fuel? And boom. Cool. All right, so let's talk about five tips for riding in the wind. Now, this was something that I actually had to deal with on the way up here. I got a booger. One second, sorry. So this was something I had to deal with on the way up here, and it sucked. I had a really bad... Okay, so what, what I usually do is I do all my cuts here, and then I make a marker. Been since I had triple dometer because I just got fuel. I like to know... One how long it's been since I had fuel and boom cool all right so let's talk about five so I usually put a marker right there see this little spot right it's gonna be a little bit hard for you because I'm, I'm doing an ultra wide that's why it's kind of stretched out like this um, you, you want to start get started dan dude guys if, if you're ever around me like we can go ahead and and uh, like I'll, I'll try my best to absolutely say hi to you like get, here I'm gonna show you a picture right here um, I went out this guy uh, was on the Discord. He noticed I was in Phoenix and all that stuff, and he was out in Mesa. And we went, and I and I went to go meet him. Now this wasn't like, you know, hey. Well, he asked. He asked. He's like, hey, are you are you like, could you make it out to to meet a fan? And yes, yes, I I went out to meet a fan. It it definitely helped that he was on the way to where I was going because it would have been kind of hard to go all the way across town and have to go and do what I was going to do, but I'll definitely meet you guys. It's because of you guys uh, that I'm here. So, but what, like back to this, um, I put a marker here cause that's like where my title is going to be. So let's just do one quick title so I can show you guys. I know you guys want to get the tips, but to be honest, this is a live stream. I'm hanging out with you guys. You're going to get these tips later and we're all going to, we're all going to get to that. I mean, you're going to see this video come up today later on in its full thing. So title 132, we're not going to do that. Let's do uh, I think it's five tips for riding your motorcycle in the wind. So we'll do that. So this is like the little title that, that pops up. This is a uh, premier pro. If you guys are ever wondering what it is, there we go. Let's do that. And I like this one, as you guys can tell, I like this font. I'm going to put it right here, I copied and pasted, and we're just going to make it big. And we'll go ahead, we'll do that, make it centered, make it bigger, and then we'll make it centered on the screen, which is this right here, horizontal center. Boom. Done. Cool. And I have my marker, so that's exactly where I want to put it. So then it kind of coincides like this. Talk about five tips. Now, see how it popped up? I'm going to do a little quick uh, cross dissolve. And now, this is what I've been doing for a while. I mean, it's nothing nothing special. So if anybody wants to get into editing or moto vlogs, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. So Five tips for riding in the wind. Now, this was something that I actually had to deal with on the way up here. I got to book. See how, see how quick that was? Super simple. Nice to have you guys. 25 people in here. Wow. I haven't even checked this yet. But I just want to say thanks again, Connor. $20 super chat. We're, we're, we're getting, uh, here, I'm, I want to show them, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I got the PVC, uh, keychains coming in. So that's what this is right here. These are the keychains. Whoa, it's all big right now. So these are the keychains that I'm coming in. And Connor came up with a great idea to get custom, uh, coins. So here's the coins I want to get. And I, and I have my designer because of all the super chats and, and all my patrons, uh, helping me out. 
So I was able to dump that money back into the channel, and Connor really likes these, and I like them too because I got challenge coins from uh, being a firefighter and all that stuff. So these are going to be limited edition. They're going to be kind of heavy, and I mean they cost a lot, so it's because of you guys that I'm able to get that. What's up, Mr. Legit? What's up, man? How you doing? So let's go ahead and get back into this. Hey, I got people in the Discord. I'm going to say hi to Steve-O. Hey, Steve-O. Or Stevio. o How you doing, man? So guys, if you, if you want to chat and hang out, we also have a Discord right here. This is the Discord. We're all talking right here. I told everybody I was going to go ahead and do this live stream. Join the Discord. We have a mental health section. We have patron updates. You guys can't see that because unless you're a patron. But yeah, I tell people about that. You can do your server feedback. Share your own YouTube if you want. You know, we, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be motorcycle stuff. But we have a lot of cool stuff. We just chat in here, and that's what I'm doing. So Stevio is uh, writing back. But let's go ahead and get back into this. One second, sorry. So this was something I had to deal with on the way up here, and it sucked. I had a. Re also, Connor, you are now a moderator for my channel. You are a moderator for my disc. Uh, Discord, I'm going to make you a moderator here. And where are you, uh, Monica? Where are you, Monica? Monica, say something so I can make you a Discord. I already got Fox Star. There you are. I see you. You are now a moderator on my channel, too. Hope I don't know what that does, but but uh, you guys are helping me out a lot on the Discord. And I want you guys to be a part of my YouTube also. So thank you. Really, really bad crosswind almost the whole way up here. And I remember somebody asking about... I forgot who asked. Sorry if if you're the one that asked in the in the Discord. I'm sorry. I forgot exactly who. I'm so there we go. You're doing a topic. Oh look at Monica. Look at that. You get a, a a special icon for that. I wonder if I can make it so that you're you have a better icon instead of uh instead of just a wrench. Click click on how to deal with wind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either, Monica. I guess if somebody's like. Spamming a lot, you can put them in timeout or something. While on a motorcycle, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I did some things. Chris Becker wanted to say thank you for all the help on riding and safety tips, dude. I just want you guys to be safe. I think you guys already know that, but uh, I just want you guys to be safe. Uh, on the way up here, that really helped me out, and I've been using them for a long time. All right, you gotta go green light, green light. All right, cool. Well, first of all, what I did notice uh, going from the Connor, dude, you don't have to keep you don't have to keep doing that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We got another. Super chat from Connor. Man, you, you're already a patron. You've been a, like one of my very first patrons. You are a monitor on the channel. You're number one, guys. Connor is number one. Uh, I believe so. Here, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a rank in the Discord. Uh, I think you do it like this. Let's see, Connor. Yeah, number one out of 374. He's level 28 in the Discord. He is high level. That means he, he, he's constantly in the channel so thank you so much connor Jeez, man i don't even know what to say i i don't even know what to say i yeah i don't i don't even know what to say man thank you so much i appreciate it you're you're making a lot of things possible a lot of all of you guys are making a lot of this possible i i don't even know what to say everyone give connor a freaking thumbs up in the chat Everyone give Connor a thumbs up. I'm going to say it in here. Everyone give Connor a thumbs up. Everyone give Connor a thumbs up. All right. Let's get back to this. I, I don't even know what to say. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I, I truly do. I truly do. All right, cool. Well, first of all, what I did notice uh, going from the belt bullet to this helmet is that you need to have a good helmet you need to have a good helmet uh one that's really aerodynamic so that's that there's a little pause there helmet so let's get rid of that pause that's the cool thing about having dual cameras is that it doesn't look it doesn't have like this big jump cut so you just switch to this boom so to have a good helmet you need to have a good helmet uh there we go yeah my boy connor everyone give him a thumbs up everyone give him a thumbs up so riding in the wind by try Wait, riding in the wind, try riding in the UK, then you'll know what wind is. Yeah, dude, wind, I bet you there's some crazy stuff, but but um, there was some crazy wind. Like, the cross, I think it was like 20, 30 miles. It doesn't sound like a lot, but 20, 30 miles on a small little sports surf. My backpack is like a sail. 
it is a huge thing. So there's some things that I'm talking about in here. But you guys got rain too. You guys got rain and, and cloudy weather and stuff. I at least had sun. Uh, pretty good. I'd really like to thank you for making the, the anxiety and depression videos. It's great. I never knew that there was even treatment for it. I'm getting treatment for it in a week. Everyone give Mr. Legit a thumbs up. And dude, that's awesome. I am so glad. There's actually a video right here. Um, this is what I'm going to make right here. This is what I made earlier in the week. Just This is just for you, Mr. Legit. Plus, obviously, everybody in the in the live stream. Um, I'll talk about kind of how to talk to your family about uh, what you have. What is up, everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here, Daniel. At the book, there's a link in the description. It's not sympathize, but empathize with me. So I discuss like how to talk to your family. And I'm actually um, going to put myself out there. And uh, I'm going to make another video. And it's going to come out Friday. So it's going to be two videos Friday. Um, and it's going to be to the where I'm literally talking to the camera. And I'm trying to generalize like who I am. And this is this is behind the scenes stuff right here. You guys are getting a little bit extra. Um, and I'm going to like literally, it's like I'm talking to a family member about what I have and what they can do for me or what I need from them. Um, but I'm going to make it so general that I want people to be able to share that video. Like if you're, if you aren't comfortable speaking your mind, um, about what you have, and if it kind of fits what you have, you can share that video to your family member or friend. So that's what I'm really, I want to do. Plus it, it, for one thing, that's, that's why I want to do it. Another thing is if anybody that is a coworker of mine, that is a family of mine or anybody that is coming across my videos and they kind of don't understand and don't know like what to do with me. Hopefully that video will help out. So it's, it's, it's a one for two thing, you know, it's helping me out personally. And then I want to help out everybody else. So, um, if that's something you want to do, share that video and it's like an open letter to family or friends or loved ones that you want to share it to. So it's basically talking about, I have depression, you know, this is what it is. If you know, you'll see the video, you'll see the video. I'll probably make it today to be honest. Um, and then I'll have it uploaded Friday. But I have this right here on the left, this this video right here. Um, but what I found out is that just speaking to that person. What... So that video is, is this Friday's video. That's the update. You got the books? Got the books? Awesome. All right, so let's, let's get back into this. I'm just having too much fun talking to you guys. That's the whole point of live stream is to talk to the people in the chat. This have a good... I told Monica, Monica asked me if uh, I was going to do a live stream and I was like, oh man, I really got to get this video out. Like, I got to get this video out. But you know what? If it, it comes out at two o'clock or five o'clock, it doesn't matter. I'm having fun. Having fun. Helmet. You need to have a good helmet. Uh, one that's really aerodynamic. Oh, there's the marker I need to make. This helmet is... All right. All right, cool. Have a good helmet. You need to have... So there we go. So now we're going to do, we're going to just duplicate this because it's already pretty good. Is this the coffee? Which one's the coffee? Come on now. There we go. So number one, have a good helmet. Super generalized. I came up with this like literally on the couch at my uh, basically sister-in-law and brother-in-law's house. I just made it real quick and I'm going to set it off to the side right there. Boom. And let's go ahead and do a cross dissolve. We'll do from start to finish. Connor, I'm glad you woke up for this one too. Good helmet. Uh, one that's really aerodynamic, one with a good shield, one with some good venting, because you can shut off some venting. If you have a peak on your shield, uh, like this helmet usually does. Oh, we are getting a ton of people in the Discord now. We got Logic Bomb 50 join in. Looks like you came twice. But it's good to have you. So I will put heyo. That's my thing. Heyo at Logic Bomb. There we go. Cool. Hopefully you're not a hopefully you're not a spammer. So I'd be getting those two. It's kind of weird. But anyways, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. If you have a peak on your shield, uh, like this helmet usually does, uh, taking that off might help you out. Might make might improve things. Um, the oh, see, I want to get rid of the ums. So let's go ahead and see. You out might make might improve things. 
So we will do that. Um, the Bell Bullet. The Bell Bullet, I had some issues. There we go. So we get rid of the mess ups. I, I mess up sometimes. I mess up a lot less now. But I do mess up. Hey, what's up, Boogie? Uh, Boogeyman646260. Uh, oh, Wiggles? No, I didn't buy the event patch. One sec, guys. I didn't. I, I didn't know they had an event patch. I would have bought that. I don't know. Man, that sucks. Uh, that's Claw. I have a brother that also has anxiety and depression, so I was able to talk to him about it in depth. Awesome. He talked to my other brother about it, but he just doesn't understand. Yeah, I have a big family, and it's frustrating. He doesn't. Well, at least you have one brother that, that you can talk to. That's why I kind of want to make a video that, like, people just don't understand. They don't understand, so I just want to, like, generalize it, almost. If they prove things, the Bell Bullet, I had some issues with the visor, like, bouncing around. It was very windy, very noisy. And, it, and a lot of things, when I had the, uh, the the bubble visor on the Bell Bullet. See, now, when I, when I, when I edit... And I, and I say I have like the bubble visor or when something comes out, I try my best to just find, um, here, let's go ahead. Let's see where did it pop up. Come on. There we go. So let's go and put this over here. So when I, when I say stuff like that, I want to be able to like give extra. I don't want to just say, I just don't want to say it. I, I like visual cues. So I actually remember that I have a bubble visor picture right there. Back when I thought I knew how to edit photos. There we go. So we're gonna do this. When I had the uh, the the bubble pop boom, and then we will do a cross dissolve into it. I usually do my warp stabilizers at the end of the uh, video. That's what this red part is because it's trying to stabilize the shakiness. Visor on the belt bullet, turning my head. And since this is a video, I also like to have it kind of move. So it starts off at 143. I will do 140. Eight. So watch, it'll it'll move with the it'll just like expand. Visor on the belt bullet, turning my head side to side, really caused some issues with catching the wind. Now, yeah, Mr. Legit, that's the that's what I want to do, man. That's what I want to do. It will go up for sale soon on this website. Thanks, Wiggles. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy one. I'm going to buy one. Dang it, I can't believe I freaking didn't do that. I can't believe I didn't do that. Yeah. I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask him which one he got. Wiggles. I'm I'm doing this all in the Discord, guys. This is all in the Discord. Um I know a lot of you guys are in the Discord and the uh YouTube chat. Uh, we do have a mental health sections for that stuff, so Mr. Legit, I don't know what your Discord name is, if you have one or not, but I highly suggest joining the Discord because we talk about it and we're all... You, you say that you can't talk to one of your brothers because they don't understand, and one of your brothers you can, you're able to talk to them in depth. That's what we have in the Discord is that everyone kind of has that feeling, and the people that have it share their stories, and you can talk in depth with multiple people, including me, and and... That's what I like about it. So, Mr. Legit, if you're not in the Discord, I highly recommend it. Same thing with uh, Haley's Crazy Videos. Um, yeah, so you can easily talk about it openly in the mental health discussion. I have two of those. Those are the most pretty much used ones. Um, which one are you going to get? Um, highly recommend it, guys. Um... Connor, I'll get back to your message uh, after th this. I don't think the new department that I work for has challenge coins. Um, the one I have is from, from my old department. I only have one of those. I could see about getting another one from them. That'd be kind of cool, though. When, when you have something like...
really cause some issues with catching the wind. Now, when you have something like this right here, when you have a GoPro or something like that, it does change the aerodynamics, but having a good helmet that is very aerodynamic truly definitely helps you out. And that kind of brings me into number two, is having uh, something that will protect your eyes. There we go, so that's number two. Protect your eyeballs, guys. Protect your eyeballs. To protect your eyes. Having sand in your eyes sucks when you're riding. Getting anything in your eyes sucks when you're riding, so that's why we we're doing that. Number two. Arizona Bike Week, 18th, 22nd. All right, man, that's the one I'm going to look out for. Guys, this is what I'm talking about right here. He sent, uh, this is the Discord chat, and this is the Arizona Bike Week 18 that I didn't get. I'm going to get the exact, that exact one. I'm going to start buying patches. Boogeyman, you're going to start, you're going to start, um, when I feel ready, I'm going to get in the mental health chat. Yeah, whenever you feel ready, man. Whenever you feel ready. Um, anyways, Isaac, nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Go back to go, go to work and, and make some money. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, so let's go ahead and get back into here. Protect your eyes. Very good uh, eye protection. You really need to wear a visor because when it is windy, there's probably dust floating around. So having just a pair of sunglasses, you're going to get dust underneath. And All right, so which one has the warp stabilizer? That one doesn't have it. That one doesn't have it. This one does. All right, so why does this not have it? About today. Let's do let's do warp stabilizer while it's doing its thing. Cause I talk a lot, so warp. Oh nope. Here you have it. No, you don't. Okay. So you got warp stabilizer. You're gonna get warp stabilizer. You're gonna get warp stabilizer. Cool. You're gonna get dust underneath and around it. So if you even have goggles, that might be better. Uh, goggles over that, but you're still gonna get it all over your face. So having a good visor uh, and good eye protection. And then just just for saying the eye protection thing, uh, the night before this, Saturday night, I was on my way uh, to the in-laws, and I have the tinted visor. As you can see, it's the it's the chrome uh, tinted visor. And it was nighttime, so I didn't have, like, I, I was, like, in a bad spot. So I went and stopped after dinner to, um, one sec, I am trying to find, oh, I have it on here, never mind. Oh, no, I have it over here. I have it in here. Let's see. I took a bunch of pictures. So I stopped at AutoZone and got, okay, which one is this? So these are all the pictures I took. All right, so that's not that one. This is uh, the Burly Brand Dirt Bagger. The Scorpion Combat Helmets. I haven't take, I haven't seen those. Let's see, these are all sideways. Why are they sideways? Come on. Where are you at? Where's the picture I took? Where's the picture I took? Oh, you know what? I don't have it on there. <laughs> uh, one sec. Let's go over here. I forgot. I only put the Vance Hine stuff on that. So let's go and put that. There we go. Oh dang it! I have it on my phone. So this is what I what I did, and I'm gonna put it in the video because it's very important. I posted it on my Instagram. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put it in my drive so I can easily just swap it over. Sorry guys, this is this is part of the whole the whole thing. You know, I I it's all editing. This is how I do it. I am just literally like figuring stuff out. All right, there we go. Cool. Sending that photo to my drive, which is obviously connected to my computer. There we go. So it should be uploading, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna keep my eye out on AZ Bike Week pins. Yeah, Boogie, if you're part of this, yeah, just DM, yeah, just DM any of us, and we'll uh, we can we can chit chat and stuff like that. So let's come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where where are you at? 
YouTube stuff. I have my drive and everything. Come on. Is it is it sinking? Is it sinking? Update right now. Sync. I want you to sync. Alright. I want to be able to show you what I mean. I want to show you what I mean. Alright, we'll just keep going until it's... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Let's download you. Here we go. Let's bring you over here. Downloads. Boom. Alright. Cool. So having a good visor uh, and good eye protection will definitely be very helpful because you really need to keep your eyes, you know. So I had to do I had to do this on the way um, because like I didn't have a clear visor. So what I did was I just went and bought um, some just it was like three four I think it was five dollars for just uh, eye protection from like AutoZone and it worked it worked great I got up to 70 80 miles an hour with these and I didn't feel wind in my eyes obviously I felt it kind of come up a little bit so in a dust storm it might be a problem but it was a lot better than having the visor down because I tried it I put the visor down and it was like dark I couldn't see anything so it's good to just like have those and I posted it on my Instagram um, let's, let's see uh, bought these because um, it was dark and I didn't have my clear visor. Five dollar fix. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So, copy and paste. Make this smaller, make this bigger, make this centered. Cool. So we will do a quick cross dissolve. You'll never go to another. Hey, what's up, Arunas? How you doing? Hopefully, I said that right. Hopefully, I said that right. So let's go ahead and get in here. Let's get some cross dissolves. I'm sure there's some keystrokes I could be doing, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, and good eye protection. So let's go ahead and make this move, because like I said, this is a video, so I like to have it change. 105. Cool. So now it's going to change. Uh, and good eye protection will definitely be very helpful because you really need to keep your eye. Let's make it a little bit longer. Eyes, you know, from from get back, you know. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna suck if you get something in your eyes and you're riding, and then you can crash. You know what I mean? Number three. Now this is one. All right. So there's the pause. I'm gonna cut out that pause. Suck if you get something in your eyes and you're riding, and then you can crash. You know what I mean? I mean. Number three. Hey, Twin Leaf. Nice to have you here. Nice. To have you here twin leaf uh, twin leaf is a patron and he posts a lot in the discord I, I i can recognize that i recognize your name man mr legit i see you in here on the youtube chat and i see that you just joined hey yo it's my thing hey yo mr legit I'm glad to have you here. Boom. All right. I could go for a bagel. I could go for some food too, Monica. I'm hungry. I mean, number three. Now, this is one that I really wanted to get to because the helmet and the eye protection is something very important, but it's. Let's go ahead and put a warp stabilizer on this just for funsies. I've been talking too much. We need it's to get pretty self explanatory. You need to change your body. There we go. do that and then we're gonna do we're gonna copy or duplicate and we're gonna do three change your body position did I spell it right all right the worst thing is to have you like not spell it right and then it's stuck there so let's see let's go ahead and move let's move you off over here change your body Position. All right, because there's no spell check on Premiere Pro, which is weird. Really weird. Here we go. Here we go. Position. When it comes to the 
change your body position when it comes to the wind and it all depends on the wind because if you get a crosswind which is a wind that coming you know from from your right to your left your left to the right it doesn't matter if you know east or west because it all depends on where you're riding um and then a tailwind which is a wind that comes i'm gonna make sure i said these right tailwind what kind is it what is a tailwind tailwind definition because i i don't know if i got it right or not the wind blowing from the direction of travel in the Okay, cool. I got it right. It's from uh, behind you and a headwind, which is a wind that comes in front of you and it's coming directly at you. Now Did I get that one right too? Headwind definition. Wind blowing directly in front, opposing forward motion. Cool. I got it right. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, now, tailwinds are pretty fun to have because it, it's not really a big deal because you are going with this wind and you're getting good gas mileage and it's not a crazy but. If you're moving, you know, uh, not on a straight road, you are going to start, it's going to turn into a crosswind, and who knows, the wind could change to a headwind. But the one thing I really had on the way up to Phoenix was a bad crosswind coming from my right to the left. And when that happens, it wants to push your bike over uh, to the direction the wind's going. So it was really trying to push my bike over to the left, and I'm really almost having to lean into the wind to uh, be safe. And uh, it's really to do for a very long uh, processing power is being used up for these warp stabilizers so I let's go come on analyze we were supposed to analyze that a long time ago there we go so it might get stuttery for very long distances and that's what sucks so one thing that I learned to do uh, while riding is to think of like it uh, uh, as like a sailboat creating drag that's why I don't do warp stabilizer until I'm almost done. Because if you notice that when you're up like this, you get a lot of wind to your chest and you're a lot of drag, especially. We will make that. We'll do that. Especially for us cruisers. Think of like it uh, as like a sailboat creating drag. Because if you notice that when you're up like this, you get a lot of wind to your chest and you're a lot of drag, especially for us cruisers. So what I thought of on a headwind, or not a headwind, but a crosswind, so wind coming this way, I stuck my leg out like this. Let's see if I can show you guys. I stuck it out like this, and what I was doing was creating drag to my right. And what I was doing was creating drag to my right side, and I kept my left leg tucked in. So what it did was it drug air and it created drag. So instead of me having to, oh snap, Monica, <laughs> drinking game every time I say warp stabilizer, that would be bad. That would be bad. <laughs> Worse is when you have a crosswind or headwind with rain. Yes, and I don't have a front fender, so any rain, any water on the road hits me in the face. So that kind of sucks, uh, Monica. I th I think uh, I think people would die if I keep saying warp stabilizer, you know, too many times because you know it's a warp stabilizer, warp stabilizer. You know what I mean? Warp stabilizer. So <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna drink my rock stars. You do the same thing, Mr. Legit. Awesome. See, it works though, right? It works when you stick your leg out. What's up, WV Motard? How you doing, man? How you doing? Back to my right side, and I kept my left leg tucked in. Okay, so right now I'm not gonna do warp stabilizers. I know I said it sometimes, many times, uh, but because it's it's starting to with with the uh, live stream and all that stuff, it's really making this computer slow down, and I don't want that. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one. I'll redo. I'll delete this one too, and I'll do it at the end. This one was only gonna take a minute because it's taking too much processing power. You'd be yeah, you guys would be chugging. Yeah, if I said um, I say um a lot. I don't realize it. And so what it did was it drug air and it created drag. So instead of me having to uh, lean so much, uh, lean so much, it just doing this, just doing this. So let's. I want to. I want to show the lean. And it created drag. So instead of me having to uh, lean so much, it just doing this. Catching the air on the right, it allowed me to uh, maintain a... 
Yeah, it's dangerous riding in the wind if you don't know what to do because it's it's really exhausting. Straight profile because the wind was trying to push me off to the left. This was dragon wind, which is pushing me off to the right. It almost neutralized it. Now I still kind of had to be a little bit off to the right, you know, lean a little bit, but it made it a huge difference. Um, and you could do that for when it comes to uh, com so all I do is like I, I enable and disable my GoPro and my Yi. So it, it's like this camera change. I synced it up perfectly at the beginning um, with my uh, claps and then with the audio. So it's just a matter of me doing that. And it, it makes it simple. It makes it simple to, to edit. And I throw in a little extra stuff like I threw in the this right here. I threw in that. You know, just if I think of something, I think of something. And I just don't want to make it too overly complicated, spend so much time on editing that I'm not focused on the actual content. So I'm trying to focus on the content and not really worry about the editing. So that's what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Oh, it's going to save real quick. It doesn't auto save every five minutes. That is a great feature um, because there's been times where this thing's crashed and I've lost a lot. So let's let this warp stabilizer finish. It's at 60% right now. Uh, challenge accepted. I'm a heavyweight. <laughs> yeah, don't drink. Don't drink on my channels because you guys will be drinking a lot when I say certain things. Oh man, it's 11 o'clock here. I need to eat. I haven't even eaten bre or I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Phone and laptop. Now I could be on both. Ah, right, what's up, Mr. Legit? Soon you're gonna have a pink. Um, if you keep posting, you're gonna have a pink. Uh, name you go up in ranks so also double check the rules um, it's just it's just there just so you know like what how people are um, but yeah it's cool any GoPro is any good thinking on getting one if if so which is the best out there I have the Yi uh, Haley uh, Haley's crazy videos I have the Yi 4k there's a link in the description to that and the Yi is amazing the Yi is awesome I love it and I will I'll just do it right here. I'll send you, I'll put it in the link in the chat. I have that one. That is what I use on the front, but you cannot connect a mic straight into it. So the E 4K plus you can do that. Um, but they have the E uh, light. They have just the, I think the E action camera and they're all good cameras. They're all comparatively good and better than um, uh, GoPro and they're cheaper. They're a lot cheaper. But I like my Yi. I like it a lot. Come on, is this almost done yet? All right, it's finished. Sweet. So now we're gonna have smooth sailing now. To uh, come from the other side, just turn out the other leg, tuck this leg in. Uh, your legs are gonna start getting really tired. Your body's gonna get exhausted when it comes to the body position. That's why I really like having this right here, my tank bag. I like to lay on it. I really like having this right here, my tank bag. I like to lay on it and reduce my profile. I will tuck in my legs. I uh, usually don't ride with a GoPro or my Hero, or not, not my Hero, that's my Hero. This is my E4K. I usually don't ride with an action camera on long distances because I like to tuck my face in. And obviously it's like, you can't do that with the thing right there. And I like to tuck it in and lay down on my tank bag. I usually put like just. Let's make it right there. In, and obviously it's like you can't do that with the in, and obviously it's like you can't do that with the thing right there and I like to tuck it in and lay down on my tank bag I usually put like just you know clothes nothing that I don't care if it's gonna get squished I'll put that in here um, so it's not a big deal I'll put that in here um, so it's not a big deal when it now when you have a head now when you see that little pause, just delete that, switch it over to the other camera. It looks like nothing happened. Um, so it's not a big deal. Now when you have a headwind, that is really good for when you, you can tuck down like that. That that's really all you're gonna be able to do to, to uh, reduce that problem. And your legs are gonna get tired, your hip flexors gonna get tired. So sometimes just have your legs out like this and allowing the headwind to kind of just you know slow you down, reduce some gas mileage just for a quick second. Uh, to let your legs uh, relax and heal basically and, and not get too tired you do that just go ahead and do that 
Um, when you have a tailwind, you can just uh, kind of almost relax and ride normally. So tailwinds are actually pretty nice. It's, it's, I hope I'm getting those terms right, tailwinds and headwinds. I, hopefully I'm getting that right. Hopefully I'm getting that right. There we go. Now one thing you need to watch out for um, on, on busy interstates uh, are big objects. And I say that's the next one. Big objects. Big objects. Number four. Big um, objects. I'll probably keep. I'll just put that. I'll just use big objects. Sounds good. Boom. Big objects. A big object. So we'll do a cross dissolve. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll share with you guys uh, the whole thing if you want. Uh, maybe not. It's like nine minutes. You'll see it later. It you'll see it. Yeah, you'll just see it later. You'll just semi. See it, later. it could be a, a mountain right here. Let's say I'm getting a, a crosswind from the right to the left, and I have this mountain right here. Well, I know for a fact that that mountain's probably going to block some of that wind. So I'm like struggling, fighting right here. You know, try my best block some of that wind so I'm like struggling fighting right here you know try my best to uh, not fall into this traffic right here and all of a sudden I get up to this mountain and it, the wind dies and I'm trying so hard all of a sudden I'm gonna go right so always be aware of like these big objects what's up Harley Dave how you doing man how you doing <laughs> nice to have you in here I'm also keeping an eye on the discord chat over here you guys are all talking about getting higher ranks yeah, talking to people online is a lot easier, much more comfortable, legit. Online is practice for real life. Yeah, it is. It can be. You get a lot of good tips from that. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get back in this. That might be blocking wind. Now, the semis, those are really big objects, and they do create their own wind tunnel behind them. If you've been riding any, any time at all, you'll understand that. Um, but if you're passing them, they are like either blocking the wind from a crosswind, or they are going to. Let's see if I can find a picture. So let's do a semi wind. Let's see if there's an image. Semi. It's too much. I don't want to do it. Semi wind. I'm over here on my Google image search. So my wind disturb, um, what's the word? Uh, just, let's see, let's see. No, I don't care. All right, it's not gonna work. Uh, increase like this crazy wind turbulence. So always be aware of that. I like to just go. Once I'm next to a semi, I just go. I get out of there, get out of the danger zone, get out of the, the, the turbulence of the wind that it creates, and uh, I don't usually have to worry about that. But yes, yeah, definitely be careful of big objects that, that do that. And it could be buildings, it could be this building. All of a sudden, if it was a little bit closer, you know, it could uh, change the way the wind works uh, when it comes to uh, hitting you from the side or in the front. So just always kind of be aware of that positioning of stuff. Of stuff. Now the next tip is number five, and this is something I always try to uh, try to do, but I'm I'm too much of an ego and pride to do it. Plus, I want to get where I want to go, but it's definitely recommended for any adverse uh, weather, especially wind. Is the stop if you boom stop if you need to. So let's go ahead and duplicate that. Let's see, stop if you need to. All right. Stop if you need to. Let's put you up here right on the marker that I set for myself. Stop if you need to. Move you over just a little bit. Boom. Edited. Done. If you need to. Just kidding. No, I got to put a cross dissolve right there. Boom. If you need to. If you're getting exhausted, you need to stop because it is very exhausting. And if you're super exhausted and you don't stop and you're going and then that next wind just hits you and you don't Let's go and switch that over to front facing. Don't have the strength to take care of it. 
there's a good chance you could crash, you know? So you need to stop, take, take a breather, stop at the McDonald's right here, or stock up, or stop at the Safeway gas station, just chill for, for a good 10, 20 minutes. And uh, this goes for, you know, rain, it goes, if it get, the rain gets out of hand, do that. If it goes for the heat and cold, do that too. Just, you know, get a drink of water, make sure you drink plenty of water, make sure you stretch, make sure you, if you have to, do some push-ups, uh, some squats to get the blood flowing and stop, just stop, you know, that way you're not worried about, you know, crashing because you're exhausted because it is exhausting riding hundreds of miles. And now I'm doing the camera switches like this because I know uh, towards the end I didn't mess up a lot, so I, I know I don't have to worry about that. If you add and it's good, and it's good uh, to switch it up. To it or any other type of adverse weather is just it's just miserable it is not fun and that is something i had to deal with coming up to phoenix i had to deal with the heat and the wind and it wasn't it wasn't the best so those are my five tips that i wanted okay maybe i did mess up i always like to get rid of pauses it wasn't it wasn't the best so we'll just leave you like that so those are my five Get rid of this. So those are my five tips that I wanted to tell you guys about wind. Now, if you guys want to know a little bit more, if you guys want to give me suggestions and stuff, please go join that Discord. I'm talking about the Discord. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Um, let's see. Let's see. What was I doing? So Discord, I have this right here. Discord logo. Now, once I hit, I think I think Monica said something. Like, if I hit a thousand Discord members, I can get my own Dan Dan the Fireman um, URL, basically, like my own custom URL. It's gonna be Discord.gg/Dan Dan the Fireman. That would be awesome. Right now, we're like at three hundred seventy something like that. So definitely want uh, that to happen. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's put you up right down, and let's set you the frame size. There we go. For channel that I have a link in the description. It's a huge chat room. We're all talking, and I. Discord channel is the way to go, guys. It is like the mo it's like the best thing I could do. It is awesome. I think that's where I got my uh, suggestions for doing it on on Win. Yeah, Boogie, that's not far at all. Like Mesa's not far at all from where I live. Like that's where I met um, one of one of the guys here. Who who did I meet? Let's. I I got so many different names. Mecca Rios. Mecca Rios ninety four. He's in the Discord, and he I met him in Mesa actually. Mesa Community College. So if you guys have uh, stuff like that, I do have a little section in there that says server feedback, you know, or you can private message me and say, hey, I got a question about this. I can answer it as best I possibly can. And then if it's like something that I feel like I need to cover, I'll cover it on YouTube, but I'll answer it as best I can. I, you know, or I'll give you the resource where I found that it has the best resources for that, you know, a certain topic, a certain thing. But with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I will see you in Tucson. I got another hour and 30 minutes to go and I can't wait to do some more uh, uh, meetups and stuff. I had a, a ton of fun at AZ Bike Week. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later, alright? Hey, what's up, biker? Oh, I'll leave that stuff in there. Hey, what's up, biker? I'm going to wave it to you and I'm going to turn you off. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. All right. Hey, what's up, biker? I wave it to you, and I'm gonna turn you off. Yeah. You couldn't have thrown out. Oh, what's up? Sorry, babe. I forgot about the mattress. We just got the the kids' brand new, really nice mattresses. And sorry, babe. I forgot to throw them out. So they're in the background. The old ones are in the background. <laughs> Shit. Of course, that's the thing she notices. Damn it. My bad. Hey, what's up, biker? I wave it to you, and I'm gonna turn you off, and I'm gonna turn you off.
I'll leave that in. Might as well, right? So that's pretty much it. That is the whole video. It's going to be 9 minutes and 32 seconds. Uh, I have all my titles. Uh, what I don't have, and uh, Monica, hopefully you guys are not doing the drinking game, is that I don't have the warp stabilizer on everything. So where is the last one? There you go. So I got to do warp stabilizer on all of these right here. Warp stabilizer, warp stabilizer, warp stabilizer. Hopefully that's like 10 shots for you guys. Just kidding. Hope you guys aren't drinking right now because... <laughs> that's too much. Um, so I'm going to do warp stabilizer on all those. So it's going to make it so that it's not so shaky and it's more like centered on my face. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Um, yes, Nikki is my girlfriend. She is in the chat right now. She's the one that's in the, the uh, she's my passenger on my dual vlogs, which I need to do again. But I, she needs to, she needs to get her own bike, right? And we're, and I'm going to actually email these guys, Ride Arizona. And I'm going to see if we can both take a MSF course, maybe do a video on that. That'd be a lot of fun. But I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I got all this. Uh, what up, Dan? I'm a new subscriber. I've been stuff for about a month now. I love your work. Keep it up. Thank you, Jacob Stromgard. I appreciate it. I appreciate all my subscribers. About a month now. I love your work. Keep it up. Thank you. I just want to make everyone safe. You know, safe and enjoy their life. And motorcycles have been a huge part of that for me. So I want to share that with you guys. But that is the video for today. It's going to go up um, at 2, 2 p.m., which it looks like I have plenty of time. So while it's doing the warp stabilizer, Monica, uh, <laughs> it's going to uh, – I'm going to do some errands and I'm going to do some other stuff. But I actually made – just so you guys can see, I have here – if you want to check uh, this video out, this is actually when I did the live video at uh, – Vance and Hines, they are gracious enough. Guys, if you're in if you're in the chat right now in the Discord, please go to Vance and Hines. Go to their Vance and Hines uh, Instagram, and it should still be up. Go to their Instagram. If you know anything about Instagram, go to their IG stories, the Instagram stories. They used eight of my photos. I was talking to them. I did in my Patreon updates. They wanted me to send them a bunch of photos so they can use them. They are literally they they're sharing my stuff, guys. Give them some love. Go to Vance and Hines. Go on their Instagram. Go on their Twitter. Tell them that I sent you. T guys, do that right now. I want you guys to do that right now. Tell them that I sent you and, and just sit, do at Vance and Hines and say, we love your stuff. We, we're here from Dan Dan the Fireman. Dan Dan the Fireman sent us. Something like that. That will totally help me out. You guys are helping me out when it comes to these live streams. You guys are helping me out when it comes to doing all this stuff. Uh, Thank you, babe, for stopping by. Nice to see you, Charles. But guys, go on IG, on Twitter, on whatever, and say, Dan, Dan, the fireman sent you. They are helping me out so much uh, when it comes to doing what I'm doing. And it's it's really like one of the – it's it's really awesome. Same thing with Get Lowered Cycles. They've, they've been truly helpful. And um, But if there's any companies out there that you want me to like start doing, like I want to do Burley Brand. I want to talk to Burley Brand a little bit. But if there's anything like that, just – Literally just throw my name out there and maybe they'll they'll get a hold of me and I can actually, you know, do a review of the stuff that you might want before you get it. You know what I mean? Uh, or at least I can just start talking to them because I had a, such a fun time hanging out with Vance and Hines. And uh, this is like my, my very first uh, company thing that I have ever done. Um, the Blue Names uh, Wizard, they are moderators. Uh, I made them moderators on my YouTube. They are moderators on the Discord, so I trust them. We, we chat. So I just made them moderators on my YouTube also. And then I'm going to make them moderators on my Twitch because I like to Twitch stream uh, video games and stuff. Like Fortnite, whenever I'm bored and have time. But I'm going to be doing a lot of editing today and a lot of honeydew list stuff. But guys, definitely please, Instagram, at Vance and Hines, say that I sent you and say that, you know, just thank them. Uh, like for me because I'm I can't thank them enough. So if you can thank them, my you guys, my my viewers, if you can thank them for for being so nice to me, that that mean a lot to me. New video topic suggestion is illegal to mount a camera to your helmet. Some cops are pulling people over having cameras. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's illegal. Uh, I'll look it up. I highly doubt it's illegal. Now, one thing that they don't want you to do is have uh, – in some states and some cities, they have laws and rules to where you can't have electrical devices while driving, so like a cell phone. 
So they might pull you over just for having the camera because that is considered an electrical device and it'll, it's distracting. Um, so that's probably why they're pulling people over, but I will look into that. Stromgard. I'm from Denmark, so that's why I had... Yeah, that's what I, that's what I figured, Jacob. This is, I probably got it wrong. I tried. I try. But yes, please, uh, Vance Times. They, they did some cool stuff. But anyways, I have the video. I will post that in... Uh, the chat right now this is like live stream of Vance and Hines and I actually interviewed one of the guys there and I tried my best to make it look good. So here's the video. It's going to be in the chat. But you guys will definitely help me out if you um, tell, them I, tell them that I sent you. Because they always like it when I do that. They always like it when I, when I say hi to them. And I like it when, I, when they say hi to me. But that's the video, guys. I'm going to make my thumbnail. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, uh, but this is like my Photoshop. This is how I make thumbnails and stuff. This is the thumbnail for the live stream that I just posted in the comment section. And um, I will be heading out. I'm going to go ahead and, and let this thing do it, and I'm going to do the dishes and, and a few other things. So thank you guys so much for being a part of this live stream. It's one hour long, actually, exactly one hour right now. And uh, you will see this video come up today. You'll see this video about wind and tips on how to ride wind come up today at 2 p.m. Arizona time because we don't do daylight savings time. And uh, I'm excited to do more stuff. I'm probably going to go off road tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I will head out. Thank you. Join the Discord. Join the Discord. I'll see you guys later. Ride safe, be safe, and have a great day.